my principal lives next door. Benjamin James Johnson is my name. I live in Hennessy, Tennessee, 830 Bright Oak Lane. At Hennessy Elementary, my best friends are Jeff, Betsy, and Suzanne. My teacher, Mr. Meyer, drives a big red van. My life is almost perfect, and I will tell you why. I have a dog named Sugar, straight A's, and I can almost fly. The only problem is, and this is really true, my principal moved next door to me. Now what if that happened to you? You can always tell when my principal, Mrs. Strictly, is around. Kids are always whispering. Their eyes point to the ground. Around Mrs. Strictly, you can never yell, or jump, or run. If she ever caught you, she'd spoil all your fun. Putting up with my principal is hard enough at school, but having her live next door to me is really not too cool. When finally I got used to this, and things were A-OK, -okay, something horrible happened to me. A D instead of an A. Getting a D wasn't really my fault. It was those terrible threes and fours. Practicing multiplication facts is always a big, bad bore. Megan and Sonia, my sisters, said, Poor Benny, we won't tell. But Mr. Meyer called my dad. You should have heard him yell. Then, Stephen and Marty and Henry, the guys who got D's too, said, Listen, Ben, don't worry. We've got great advice for you. And just as I was about to hear what they all had to say, Mrs. Strictly came on the intercom. Benjamin, Benjamin James, James Johnson, Johnson to my, to my office. office today. The hair on my neck, it stood straight up. I got goosebumps all over my knees. Next, my teeth started shattering. Oh, my garden peas. I had no choice, and so at three, I went to meet my doom. I'll tell you this, and it is true, I'd rather have cleaned my room. Mrs. Strictly didn't say a word, but took me straight out to her car. Then she stared at me and growled, we won't be going far. I thought we were going to my house, but she pulled into 832. She took me into her den and said, there's something we must do. Then from one of her drawers, she took something, something I just couldn't see. A ruler, a paddle, a big brown belt. Oh no those horrible fours and threes. And so we practiced day after day until I was really good. Pass that test, do my best. You know, I knew I could. And when it was over and said and done and I could multiply, I felt really proud. And so I yelled, Whoopee! I'm glad I tried. Ben, Mrs. Strictly smiled at me. You did it. I knew you could. Remember, 
Learning takes hard work. I'm glad you've understood. And here is something else I learned that I will share with you. Having your principal live next door means having a good friend too.